Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today is super exciting. I'm on the way out to go meet up with the driver that is delivering my new UTV. Ever since we were in Los Angeles, I realized that we were going to move to the farm and I wanted a new side-by-side -side UTV. And this one is super special because it does have a manual gearbox. Come on, let's go rescue it. Here it is. Wow, it's so wide. Today, today it's all about the UTV. This is a Yamaha UTV. So what's gonna happen now, the Polaris that I rebuilt in the other YouTube video is gonna be for sale. But anyway, let's get this UTV down first so I can show you guys what I ordered. It is much bigger than the Polaris and it's also much newer. The Polaris is very old technology, so to speak. And this UTV is a 2019 one. So lots of technological upgrades has happened in between. Here it is! Shout out to Andy Nokum for sending my UTV up. Nice line cruiser, Andy. Look at that! So this UTV has a door, unlike our Polaris. No door. After having some breakfast and reviewing the manual, the first order of business is to get some gas. Thanks, Wilson. Alright, let's try it out. Uh, nice thing with this new side-by-side -side is it's got a telescopic steering. It's got a clutch so we can kick it, it's got a sequential shifter and a handbrake. I'm hoping the handbrake works in terms of locking the rear wheel so that we can have some sideways action. Now the problem with this being a sequential, I'm not going to be able to hold the camera and drive at the same time. But for now, let's start it up and see. Yep, picked up a lot of dirt and debris and it is no longer brand new because it is so dirty, literally um, filthy. But it is a lot of fun. It does feel like a rally car. There's some ants crawling over me also. It does have that acceleration. Although versus the Polaris, this is actually much harder to drive. The steering is a little, I guess, uh, looser in that sense. But beautiful thing is the handbrake does lock the rear wheels although it is a pull but 
shifting through the gears and attacking the corner just like a little rally car and it just I can't wait to put the exhaust on this thing. It's gonna scream and sound so much better. Although I have to read the manual and see if I need to break it in. But for now, let's keep going. You can see with the dirt all over my face that I've had too much fun. Really feeling it out and not revving it out just yet, but breaking it in, so to speak. Not really, we're not breaking it. We're probably just breaking it more than breaking it in, but super fun. All those mud chunks. I am gonna need some fender flares for this because I don't wanna get this dirty every time that I use it. Leia is knackered right now on the floor. She ran with me and she's done. She's like frothing in the mouth. I'm gonna go wash my face real quick so that I can get back to finishing our boat dock. And now it's raining. Now it's raining. Drew just got here. He's gonna play with the Polaris so that we can get some awesome chase shots. Although today is no grip. So good luck to him. It's gonna get so dirty. I broke it already. Let's go down and sort this out and we're gonna take off the silencer also on the exhaust. So I snagged this on the tree that fell. I broke the clip already which means I gotta redrill a mounting point and put a new screw or a zip tie. I have ordered some fender flares because yeah the fenders are quite useless. The mud flings up from up here through the cabin. That's what we broke, the little mounting tab. Gotta figure out how to reattach that. We are going to try to mend this together. I am gonna end up punching a new hole somewhere here because I don't trust this. I want a nice fit so that we can build it up with the super glue. On the end of the washer, using this as a bridge support. And we're gonna proceed to fill in the hole. I saw this hack online, how to make your exhaust sound noisier. Although I do have a sport exhaust with me. I'm not gonna be installing any of the parts today because I need to break it in technically, which I haven't. I actually just floored it already and I'm such a bad owner. But we're gonna take off the silencer tip right here and make it a little louder before we slap on all the other mods. Um, for now, I'm gonna do a cold start or just a start so you can hear what this sounds like versus when I end up taking out the silencer. So that should make it noisier. This acts as a baffle where the exhaust gases have to hit this to circulate in there and exit this little restrictor pipe. See how this sounds. We'll just put back the cap. We won't tighten it too much just yet. If it sounds really bad, then maybe I'll put it back on. But for now, let's do a test start. It's a little rattly from the start, but it's because we haven't really tightened the cover. Although it now sounds like a big bike, which is exactly what I want. So we are gonna leave it off first. When I do change the whole exhaust system, I will throw that back in just so that it remains as a standard system. But definitely I wanna hear this motor. That's officially our first modification for the YXZ, we should name her. I wonder what name I'm gonna give her. Super glue looks like it's dried out. I'm gonna try to put the clip back, but again, I will be boring in a new screw in the panel. 
just to keep it secure. I'm gonna give it one more once over. Assembly time. There you have it. This is my first repair and my first modification all in one. The gap is kind of off right now, but you know what? I'll take it. Ideally, I should wash this first, but you know what? It's just gonna get dirty again. This is a lower arm brush guard, which basically is hard, hard plastic that, yeah, it's, it's there to prevent, you know, the, things snagging into the arms and just gives it an extra support system so that it doesn't break when we hit rough terrain. Now it's time to put the roof on. It's been a rough day, sorry I haven't been talking that much because my head is killing me. Although we have finished the front arm guards and the roof, I didn't video much of it because I didn't find it super interesting. Now I'm going to be removing the exhaust and installing the rear arm guards. The headers have to come off for the whole exhaust to go out. Hey everyone, we're back to the UTV and yesterday or last night I left the UTV in frustration because the exhaust that we ordered didn't fit. It was an original Yamaha part but the elbow fitting and just the mounting brackets were so off that we didn't know how to mount it. Now this morning I had Wilson come and check it out with me but with fresh sleep and some food we managed to figure out what to do. We are going to be mounting the exhaust JDM style, which is going to be slanted about to the right over here. And that's the only way it's going to work because without having a right 90 degree elbow pipe to complete that really steep bend that the exhaust needs, I won't be able to mount this exhaust. And you know, it's such a pain to remove the stock exhaust and put it back. So. We're gonna go with this. It's much lighter than the original system so that we're only gonna use like two bolts to hold it and we've cut the hanger plate, canted it a little and we're gonna work with that as well. If you can see the problem right here, this is the problem. The, the header tube is way far too back. I've already cut this little elbow pipe twice and still we can't really get it to sit in any further. Maybe I can cut it just one more time to get it to sit in just a little bit, bit more. This is the pipe that we had to cut twice already. It's about this long and we've cut it and I've cut it again and I actually am going to trim it just a little again and try to hopes to really just move this whole flange in. Hopefully it's not going to give us a leak but yeah, we're maybe going to take our one fourth inch off again. Alright, made a boo-boo. Shouldn't have cut the elbow anymore. Now it's off-center even more. Not good. Super JDM feel. We're gonna try to tilt it as far as possible, hoping that this doesn't come into contact with the spring and we don't burn the pipe here. But you know what? Let's work it out. Alright, from the previous center exhaust, we wanted to mount it a bit here, but now because I cut the inner elbow again too much this time, we're now facing over here. Hopefully again, I think I'm gonna burn the edge of this paint, which I don't really want to, but I do want to run the UTV already. I'm gonna see if maybe we can tilt it some more by pushing it. No, that's pretty solid. So, let's try doing a sound check.
so I decided to finish the front bumper brush guard installation on the UTV and I think it's gonna change the characteristics of the UTV by making it handle a little better because it's gonna put some weight all the way in the nose of the UTV which will prevent me from understeering. I haven't forgotten about the GoPro Hero giveaway contest. If you guys wanna join the contest, comment down below, hashtag I wanna be a hero and a good deed that you've done this year for someone else. So good luck to you guys on the GoPro Hero contest. In the meantime, we're gonna get straight into it again and proceed to install the remaining parts. This should be fairly easy. What's gonna happen is this little bumper bar comes off and two panels bolt on. This one first, the lower guard where the winch is gonna sit down and then the upper guard which protects the upper half, especially if you're going through brush where it hasn't been trailed out and you don't want to damage the body panels. Yesterday when we were going through the course, I snagged on those trees with a lot of thorns and it's actually ripped through the finish already. But with installing this, it should protect everything and allow us to go into uh, uncharted territory much easier and much safer. That's the only support that we have versus this mega crash bar. And the last piece. we're gonna end the vlog here we didn't finish the wiring for the winch system because I don't have a switch panel just yet I'm gonna leave that for the next video along with other electrical stuff I want to install also in the next video we will be painting the wheels black because I don't like the blue ring anyway good luck to those joining the contest and if you like this vlog you know what to do see you guys again soon